hear you say leading from love mm. um, with yourself. And what I'm gathering from that is you're saying mm. start with self love so then you can therefore sort of be love thy neighbor as you love yourself. You know, the word mm. says that. And what that really means if you break it down is you have to love your neighbor at, or treat your neighbor, it says, as you treat yourself. Therefore, if you treat yeah. yourself bad, you can only expect to treat your neighbor equally bad. Right. Therefore, you must have, first have self-love to be able to then portray the same love onto others. Is that kind of where you're going with that? Start with yourself, absolutely. start with love? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can put any kind of an analogy to it in both my books. I spent some careful time in making sure that I highlight what I mean by the fact that the starting foundation is who you are and how well you understand yourself, how well you know these terms that in the family, you have no problem understanding what love means. When you get into other life domains that are important to you, all of a sudden, there's this fear that comes up, that you can't be authentic, you can't be real. Um, you know, in one of the experiences that I've had, one of, the, one of the reasons why I'm contracted to organizations, whether they're Fortune 500 or small starting up companies, was to put together people policies, right? And what I have found is that a lot of policies restrict us from being humans and the restrictedness is because on the one side and this is I'm going to get to the whole dilemma and how we create dilemmas are they necessary you know that's the big question mark that we really need to ask ourselves and answering that question isn't necessarily starting with the whole group it's starting with what are you going to lead in that mo movement right what is, gonna, what is it going to be that's your part? But how can you answer that question for others when you can't even answer that question for yourself, right? So it goes back to what does authenticity mean? What does truth mean? What I promote in truth and authenticity is the truths, of, the truths that we each hold when it comes to our truths, our unique truths, in our vitality, our fullness, which is our well-being, our genius, which is where wisdom comes from, and our talents and our gifts, unique unto each and every individual, before we can come together.